combo. It's your girl, Lady. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. And if you're already a part of the Life Endeavors family, hey, y'all. So I'm going to make this one really quick. But I wanted to come to you to just bring my utter annoyance with the school system. They already are allowing all this crap to happen in schools. They're not protecting our children. At the end of the day, ain't nobody stupid. All they looking for is butts and seats so that they can make sure to get whatever monies they're supposed to get um, during that summer period when school gets out right before school. They usually have some type of um, award amount uh, for the students during the school year and you know monies that they don't owe back things of that nature to help with their bottom line bonuses and things of that nature for the uh administrators um superintendents things of that nature and i am so happy that i have decided that i will be homeschooling my last two and i'm doing this because it's just to the point to where i'm here and i'm sick of the school and Every time I turn around, it's something. And I uh, had a conversation with my youngest, and she was like, Mom, I just hate my school. I'm, I don't want to go back there. And I'm like, mm-hmm, because I hate your school too. Like, it's what it is. And I done had so many different conversations with the individuals at the school. Now, I can say that um, my daughter's teachers are great. Um, they have some excellent teachers, in my opinion, at her particular school is just they seem to not be teaching um what they're preaching um in my opinion as far as they want you to be courteous be nice uh be respectful yet they're none of that to the parents at least in my opinion what i've had to deal with um i don't know how many times i have to say this but i've been to the point to like I'm ready to put pause on somebody. Um, and I've been very patient. I have, uh, you know, talked to the principal, the vice principal, um, even going as far as reaching out to the teacher and things of that nature. And it's like, they still keep doing the same mess. And, and I'm the type that if my child is not happy, I'm not happy because they should be going to school to, uh, be in a happy, comfortable, a loving environment um, and not feel uncomfortable. And so when my child told me that, you know, she's been not happy at the school because of certain issues with other children at the school, which has been reported, as long as they don't put their hands on it, I'm good. But when you getting up in my child's face or trying to be cute and you done invaded her space, it's time for her to go ahead and put paws on you. And I already told her, I don't care if they touch you, touch your hair, put their hands on you. You got the right to protect yourself and defend yourself. And we was taught you keep your hands to yourself and your feet on the ground. And either one of them things are put on you, you knock it down. It's very simple. And I'm tired of her coming home and she's very respectful. She, you know, don't bother nobody. However, she had to slap one child and, you know, I don't need nobody calling me because I'm the type of parent, yeah, I told her to do it, sure did. And if they got a problem with me, tell them to come on over here because I got two of them waiting on me. I, ain't, I don't play no games when it comes to my church. Wheelchair and all. This mouth and these hands still work. And the school system is just out of pocket. And then they want you to just pacify your children like it's okay. The vice principal told my child, boys will be like that. I don't care how boys will be. I'm going to show you how a girl going to be real quick. Because they finna get knocked down by a girl. Don't play. We not finna even do that. And I'm so disappointed that they want her to just accept it. This has been going on since school started. And all I'm asking is for my child not to be in the same group as these individuals. What do you want? All I'm asking is for my child to not be in the same group as these individuals. And they are in her group because the teacher is like, mm, it's not a big deal, at least in my opinion, because they're still putting them in the same group together. Just separate them, especially if the individuals continue to 
say things or do things that's upsetting my child. Just separate them from her. And I know in life you're not going to be able to separate yourself from everybody. However, she's a kid. She's in elementary school. She's still learning how to navigate people in society. So as I continue to teach her that, let's make sure she feels comfortable and safe. And if that's not the case, my child don't need to be there. And I'm not one of those to act like it's not a big deal. It's a big deal. Her happiness is a big deal. So, I mean, have y'all ever had to deal with any of that? Um, if there's anybody out there that is homeschooling or has homeschooled or know um, anybody that is or has and have, you know, some information for me, pass it along to your girl because I'm really working and looking at, you know, our state and all the things that I have to do here in North Carolina because, yeah, that's, that's where we're going. That's where we're heading. So, as of the school year of 2023-2024, I ain't got to worry about the public school system no more. And I can teach her all of the black history that I want to teach her all through the year and not just one month. Um, just throwing her out facts because that's what I do. Um, anytime I come across something that I didn't even know, I throw across to my children. And I like to ask them, did they know it or, you know, stuff like that and when I show them the real stuff that happened, like the crap they're reading in school, um, even like some of my old school books, like you can pull up old uh, books that are discontinued that they don't even use in school anymore. And so when I show them like the stuff that we had in school that we were taught versus like what they're being taught and how they rearrange the words or try to paraphrase to make something look better than what it was, my children are shocked. And when I show them like what actually happened or who actually did what, um, they look at me like, that's not true. That didn't happen. And then when I show them, they're like, oh, like I, I'm gonna give you a case in point. My children didn't know that Abraham Lincoln um, came from a family and they had slaves. Like um, they didn't know that, uh, you know, when Nat Turner unfortunately massacred a lot of families, um, they actually made pocketbooks and grease out of his skin and stuff. So, like, I love history. I'm a history nut and buff. And when you learn the real history, it's the truth. Um, and we shouldn't shy away from that. Um, I feel like when you shy away from things that are not the truth, you only do that because you plan on repeating it. If you're not going to repeat it, put it out there. I mean, it has happened. And, and let people feel the way that they do. And accept the way that they feel and stop trying to shun everything. So I don't hide anything from my children. I mean, that's just me. I've been raw my whole life and I'm going to continue to be. Came out the womb that way. So um, tuh, this date from conception until, you know, whenever. So, you know, it's going to be what it is. However, that's all I have for you today. And I'll catch you in the next one.